Uber, currently valued at around $65 billion, is on a mission to change the world of Uber's charismatic CEO, Travis Kalanick. And to think that this global revolution was inspired by a James Bond movie. Canadian-born Gareth Camp was a successful entrepreneur living large in San Francisco. One night, Camp and Kalanick were in a cab after a night out drinking in Paris. The story of Uber takes place in 2008 where Travis and Camp were attending a conference in Paris. After having a fine dinner in the city of Paris, Travis and Cam, just like an old boss, were complaining about all the crappy stuff that they have to do in life, including finding a taxi to take them back to the hotel. Travis seems so upset, not even a single taxi wants to pick up his phone. And just when there's a taxi approaching them, the driver rudely ignores them. All of a sudden, Cam came up with an idea that are going to solve these global issues into something very big. As time passes by, Cam getting increasingly obsessed with bringing his ideas into a reality. To entrepreneur spirit, Cam gathers his friends, including Travis Kalanick, and brainstorm on the ideas of the Uber. They pitch the app to existing drivers of limos and luxury cabs. Years later, Uber's no-inventory business model would be valued at $65 billion. Kalanick would then muse with pride. Value. Garrett brings the classy and elegance like that's his part of it. Yeah. I bring the efficient. The value. I this move would go on to protect Uber from several regulations. But Uber argues that it doesn't dispatch vehicles and the driver accepts or rejects the ride through an app. Since they didn't own the cars and nor did they hire the drivers. Uber wasn't a taxi company. They were simply an app that connected people. Okay.